So Amazon changed this tracking spreadsheet. So this is for tracking spreadsheet users. If you are not a tracking spreadsheet, you can just go to the next video. If you are using it, this is now going to be 3.1 on the version. Several of you have reached out and said, hey, there's a new column. I wanna explain why the column's there and how to change it if you want. So on my own tracking spreadsheet, I've made several edits. So this is a, uh, I've got a sample one back here. This is 3.0, which is what most of you should be on. This one handles merchant fulfilled inventory. So if you go to paste your uh, sales report, which you can get from Seller Central, why that just moved over. You can get that from Seller Central uh, under order, or sorry, under uh, reports, payments, you'll get to this page, you go to date range reports. Before Amazon had split it off into two, you had standard orders and several of you may not have known that invoiced orders was a separate option. I believe that comes from business buyers, but it showed up separately. It's very, very small. If you had a thousand orders standard, you might have five invoiced. But for those of you that also wonder why your 1099 maybe didn't line up, that could be part of it. So before you had to click standard, generate a report, do the month, download it, as well as go to invoice, generate, download it. Amazon finally realized that was silly. They've consolidated them. You'll see now instead of a monthly transaction, it's a monthly unified, which is a sounds fancy, but they just stuck both reports together. And the way they did it is exactly like this. So before, Everything worked out fine. Now you see that your data hangs off by a little bit. Let me show you what's behind the screen. So on the sales report now, they have a new column called account type, and you'll have standard as well as invoiced orders. So it's really nice. It's all in one report now. So for those of you that may not have done that, you can actually delete all your data, and you can just generate a year's worth at a time if you'd like, or half a year at a time uh, through here. Doesn't matter if you're on standard or invoiced it'll simply work. So this is actually a good thing. If you've made any tweaks to your existing tracking spreadsheet, again, this is a demo, apologize for whoever's data I'm using without their explicit written permission. But if this is you and you're overhanging by a, uh, by a line, here's what you gotta do. Between marketplace and fulfillment is this new option. So come up here between marketplace and fulfillment, right click, insert a blank column, and you can then take all of this data if you have a bunch of it unfortunately you can go shift up all the way to the top you can go all the way over to the edge command shift or control shift down arrow that'll grab everything and then just command x control x go over one command or control v to paste and you're done you can type the new one here account type and you're done. So if you've made any tweaks to your spreadsheet, we're not adding anything else. We uh, we did a pretty good overhaul last time around on version 3.0. That will fix your existing spreadsheet, exactly what I just did. So you know, in between marketplace and fulfillment, right click, add a column, everything else will run, update, you can click update data and you'll be good to go. Or conversely, you'll have to remember this every time, so I don't recommend it, um, but you can come in here you could do the same thing here, right click and just delete that column and then copy paste this into the old format. Or we're pushing version 3.1. You can transfer your data over to 3.1, totally up to you. Uh, for those of you that buy it from scratch, you can check it out at thebookflipper.com slash track as well as thebookflipper.com slash videos to see it in action. This is the tool I use for my accounting. I also use it to pay all of our consignment clients, and uh, it's a really good resource. So that's how to do it. You got really three options. One is always delete this column from your sales report. Two is probably more preferred, which is simply add the column in between marketplace and fulfillment. Just call it account type. Don't forget to save your spreadsheet when you're done. Now you're good. Or three, you can transfer everything over to a new sheet. Totally up to you. If you have any questions, I'm always available. Caleb at thebookflipper.com. That's C-A-L-E-B at thebookflipper.com. That comes to me. I'm not fancy enough to have a full team to answer that. It's me. And I would, uh, I'll push back a little, but I'm delighted to help. That's all. We'll get some other videos out in the near future, but that's the tracking spreadsheet updates. Get out there, measure what you manage, and I hope you're all doing well and thriving in these crazy times. Peace.